Davey's name up on the stadium ramp there, especially now as you're kind of getting closer to the record. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's something that, you know, a lot of people are talking about, so it's on my mind. And, you know, I'm definitely thinking about it, but, you know, I'm just going to go out there and make my plays, and when the plays come here, I'm just going to make them. Has he reached out to you? Has Bo ever talked to you about that record? Uh, uh, no, nah, no, sir. I haven't, I haven't spoke to him. Sky, is the defensive effort we saw last week something that's been building? Is it Did it all just click last week? Is it something you guys can mm. build on going forward? No, no, I mean, it's something, you know, we always talk about playing, playing that way, a complete game. You know, getting the ball off the offense. We've, we've been preaching that since fall camp, but uh, you know, it's just something that we just got to continue and uh, focus on when when the game starts, and just you know, really focus on getting our goals. So just gotta keep playing. Scott, how much do Will and T. Rob have mid-game adjustments in mm -hmm. terms of your defense and the base packages? Is it pretty much the same, or are they not yeah. hesitant to go and change? No, I mean, yeah. If, if something's not working, they're they're definitely not hesitant to go change something uh, at halftime. You know, they're on the board with us and and making the right adjustments to, to things that we're not uh, fitting right and stuff. But uh, if something's working, you know, they'll, they'll keep it going as well. So, you know, but they're, you know, they're very involved. Is that encouraging to see, especially your first couple of years you played under a defense that maybe didn't do that? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, it, it is, you know, because, you know, your coaches are, are very invested and, you know, they're here until 1, 2 in the morning um, writing up schemes and stuff. So, you know, uh, that work, you know, motivates us to, you know, go out there and perform better, definitely. After after reviewing the film, what kind of stood out stood out about the way Sherrod Green played? Um, you know, he's very physical. He's a young dude. He's very physical. He's not going to shy down from uh, anybody. You know, he's going to stick his hat in there, and he's going to make a lot of plays. Very athletic, so he's going to run sideline sideline. He's, he's a good player. How much grief did you guys give Montag for not having his touchdown count? Oh uh, yeah, uh, you know, we was hoping it counted. You know, so um, you know, uh, we motivating him. Just you know, try to hopefully he'll get one next week. Get on the board next week. So for sure. Scott, how much did uh, the pass rush have to do? Yeah, no, I mean, our D-line as a whole, pass rush and, and run defense, they play great. Uh, you know, um, they, they cause a lot of disruptions for us and, and allow us in the back end to make a lot of plays. So, you know, um, we feed off them. How much does it mean getting Sawyer back today? Oh, yeah, it means a lot. You know, he's a vocal dude on defense. Uh, he's very intense, uh, plays hard, plays fast. He gets to the quarterback. So, you know, that's a dude we need for sure. Sky, what has been the difference in stopping the run this year, in your opinion? Uh, I would say our D line play. Like um, honestly, uh, we, if if you watch film, you'll see us pushing pushing O linemen back. You know they're not getting pushed off the ball. They're standing in the gaps and keeping us free in the back end. So me and me and TJ and uh, you know the, the other linebackers were able to run inside out and stuff. So we make a lot of plays. Scott, how much have you heard about what's going on in Tennessee off the field this year? Yeah, I mean I haven't heard much. I haven't heard much really. Um, I don't really know too much about what's going on off the field. Uh, we just started watching film today, so, but you know, I'm, I'm just really focused on what they got going on on the field. Really, they have a little bit of a quarterback controversy. Mm -hmm. Do you know or can I have an idea of who to expect up there? Um, I think number twelve. Uh, that's the quarterback that we uh, we been, we locked in on today. So, I'm pretty sure number twelve. That's, don't know too much though, about the beginning of the year. How much mean to get a shout out from Snoop out on Twitter after the game? That's that's like every week. He talks to me every week. I mean, he famous to y'all. He not famous to me. <laughs> Is he a family member to just play? I play for him, but I mean, he close to my dad. What did it mean to get in last week and, and have significant reps in the, in the fourth quarter on defense? Uh, it was big, you know. I ain't played much that yet. Just special teams, but I just told myself every time I get in, I gotta make a play. So I mean, two plays in two games, I'm gonna feel good. Keyshawn, just how is this defense coming together? How well is it coming together after these first few games? Feel good. I mean, it's better than what coming from junior college. You know, a lot of play like people went D1 on my school, but here it's like a complete team. I ain't never really been around a lot of guys who's really good. So it's just like make you play better. When you make a big play like you did on Saturday, what does that do for your confidence? Go up. My confidence went up after the Texas A&M game. And then when I got my shot, I just had to make a play. Keyshawn, what were some of the things maybe holding you back the first couple of games? Speed of the game or not getting here till late? Probably like not getting here till late. You know, we got to learn defense. I know most of it now, but, you know, every day is a learning experience. Did, did you have to switch positions kind of ha halfway through? You started safety and moved to corner? Yeah, when I got here, I was at safety. You know, uh, a couple players went down, coming back at corner. I mean, it don't really matter. I could have played either way, but I feel comfortable at corner. That's why I played junior college.